Well, hey there, YouTube. It's Michelle. It's Monday evening, late evening. I am coming to you to share the March Mission Inspiration. And uh, this is a Facebook group that is hosted by Mike Deacon. And that is Gentleman Mike. And Mike uh, gives you a list of ingredients, some color combinations, and some words for inspiration. And you then take to creating um, something from uh, the prompts. And so just let me show you what I've used this month. I used the Prima doily dye. I used, I had some white gesso, um, one of the color combinations in, included sunflower, and so I used this uh, Distress Paint um, Wild Honey. I used some acrylic paint dauber. I, uh, we were supposed to use some packaging, and the colors were rose and spring green. So we were supposed to use food packaging. So I grabbed the box of Sweet and Low from the office <laughs> and put the Sweet and Low in a cute little bucket, <laughs> and then... Um, I had this um, Kit Kat that I got while I was in Tokyo, and that green just um, jumped out at me. Now, uh, this month's color combination was quite challenging for me. Not my favorite combination, but I worked with it the best I could. I uh, used some die cuts. I used the uh, Thin Lips uh, Wildflowers. I done made up a name. What are they called? Are they called wildflower? They just say thinlets. Um, I'm not sure what the name of these are, but you got it. See, there it is. And then I also use the spell binders that I got from Tuesday morning, which is kind of like herbs. So it's got a flower pot and these different herbs. And there's some little flower blooms too to cut. And so I used the die cuts to cut the sweet and low packaging and the Kit Kat packaging to create florals and then um, girlfriend Cynthia Martin designs I love her she and her die cuts graphic designer and this is one of her die cuts here it is so you can see it better but one of the prompts was to use uh, burlap or fibers so I cut the die cut out of some uh, woven fabric to use so let me show you Without further ado, my March Mission Inspiration, which I am calling My Time to Bloom. And uh, one of the things, one of the prompts was that you had to, you can see the, the doily. I used um, gesso mixed with the Distress Paint and used the stencil to create kind of a sunshine thing coming through the back. And then the die cuts, I just put the flowers all around. Here's a little flower pot, and you can see the Nestle. This is a little Kit Kat, but that's the shape of a flower pot. And then you've got the flowers just blooming all over. And there's the lady in the center. And another one of the things that they had you do was you're supposed to stamp in white paint. So I used some of my acrylic paint um, on, um, let me show you, just my rubber stamp here. And that white paint isn't from this time. It was from another time where I let it, I didn't wash it off right away. And it's so funny because when Mike does his tutorial today or his share, his process share, he says, you know, don't let the white paint uh, stay on because it'll stain the rubber. Well, uh, about a year and a half too late for that or two years too late for that. But anyway, there's my March mission inspiration. So let's run through them all. January's was Memento, February was And Still I Rise, and now we have March, My Time to Bloom. So this is so fun. Um, I am not necessarily a um, mixed media artist, but it definitely stretches my creative muscles to get a list of prompts and then create from those prompts. So stick with me. We'll see what April has to bring. 
Everybody have a great evening. We'll see you soon. Bye.